It's something most Canadians take for granted, clean drinking water, but just months after admitting Canada won't make its March 2021 target for getting all First Nations communities off long-term boil water advisories, Indigenous Services Minister Mark Miller can't say when his new deadline is. I sat in literally the back of a pickup truck with Justin Trudeau five years ago, and he said that he was going to be able to keep this promise. And uh, when someone makes me personally a promise, I want it to be kept. Serene Fox brought Justin Trudeau to Shoal Lake 40 First Nation in 2016 to show him what people without clean drinking water endure. Fox says Trudeau told her that he would keep his word, but five years later, and Shoal Lake remains on the same long-term drinking water advisory. Fox says she's especially frustrated as Shoal Lake, like many communities still under those advisories, is within an hour's drive of a city. I lived in Ontario. And most of those boil water advisories are, you know, within 45 minutes of an, of an inner city uh, community. So it, you have to look into what they're saying. They're saying this is about communities being closed, about lack of being able to have access. But these are communities that um, are right next to municipalities that have the same access. So why are some Canadians worth less than others? While Miller had no new deadline, he did announce a new page on the Indigenous Services website, tracking which advisories have been lifted and progress towards lifting the rest. But most of this information was already publicly available, and a report from the Auditor General last month said the biggest problem wasn't transparency, but lack of support for First Nations. In particular, Indigenous Services was said to be using outdated policies and outdated funding models, models the Indigenous Services Minister admits don't work. The policy was outdated. Um, it was only an 80-20 model where and sometimes the communities didn't have that extra 20. Some did, but some were, thought it was unfair. It is unfair. Um, it should be fully funded, and that's what our commitment and our move uh, in, in the fall to get that announced and out the door, which we're moving quite quickly to, to get out the door. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.